Hey everybody, it's day 21 of my AMA video series in support of my fundraiser for the Norwegian Refugee Council. Uh, that means there are 10 days left of this video series, so you have 10 more days to send in questions and I have 10 more days to try to answer them. All right, today's question comes from John and he simply asks, what is the best piece of advice you've ever gotten? Now, lots of people have given me advice over the years. Some of it has been great, some of it has been good, some of it has been suboptimal. Um, but the one piece of advice or the one kind of guiding instruction that has that I've gotten uh, that really has colored and shaped the way I live my life is something my dad used to say to me and my brothers all the time, which is, do whatever makes you happy as long as you're not hurting yourself or anyone else. Now, you hear this all the time, right? People keep saying, do what makes you happy. Or if you're not happy in your current job, life situation, whatever, then make a change and make yourself happy. And it feels really empty when people say that because, or it feels really annoying when people say that because it's like, yeah, sure, everyone wants to do what makes them happy, but everyone also needs a job and not everyone is in a situation where they can just up and sh move somewhere else or, you know, hang out with new people or get a new career or get an education or whatever. So on the face of it, the whole do what makes you happy thing might seem like a really bad piece of advice because it's not something you can take and do something with. But because this is something I heard from very young childhood, it has shaped the way I think about things. So when I say, to myself, do what makes you happy. What I'm seeing is not as much, you know, oh, are you happy right now? If not, then you should just quit and do something else. It's more like, as I make choices in my life, I try to look back on them from time to time and say, okay, where am I right now? I'm taking stock and saying, like, is the current situation I'm in actually making me happy? And if I'm happy, is uh, can I then, you know, perform at my top capacity? Because that's kind of the key to this whole thing. If you're not happy in whatever situation you're in, you're not performing at your best and you're also not making anyone else happy, you're kind of stuck. So if you have a moment to take stock of your current situation, you can ask yourself, am I happy right now? And if not, what can I do about it? And what can I do about it can be many things. It can either mean, you know, the very hard, uh, the very extreme version, which is like quit or move away or do something else. But there are also other things you can do. You can look at your situation and say, what about this is not making me happy? What is it that is grating and sticky and doesn't quite work? And is that something I can change? Is it something in me? Like, do I need an attitude change? Is it something that I can easily change around me by influencing other people? Is it something that I need to work towards to get to fix? Or is it something that requires a more global shift of some kind, in which case, moving away from it might be a good idea, or it might just mean that you need to work on it with more people than just yourself. So using this in my life has been useful because I can then often figure out if I'm not happy in the situation, I identify it immediately and I go, okay, what can I do to change the situation and make it better? And that's what makes it good advice. So thank you, Papa. All right, that is the answer for today's question. Uh, like I said, there are still 10 days left in this fundraising campaign and in this video series. So if you have a question you want me to answer, send it in to the URL you see on my screen right now, morton.com slash morton is an old. There's a button that says ask a question, click on it, fill out the form, and the question might show up in this video series. If you want to donate to the Norwegian Refugee Council and help refugees and displaced people all over the world, um, then you can also do that from the same URL. Just click on donate to the NRC and send in your donation. All right, I will see you tomorrow.